Hello guys, I just wanted to show you some replays from the FPL tournament, which is a tournament hosted by Pokeaim, in which basically you are part of a team and every team member plays a different tier, and I play Rambets for my team. Rambets is best of three, and that's all you need to know. I'll show you the replays from week one to week three, and in the next episode I think I'll show you the rest of the weeks. So we can just start. This was the first game of week one against uh, Da Vinci. This was a good lead. I was scared of Willow and they had it. I didn't have uh, Body Slam. I had Double Edge here. So I couldn't fish for a para. I went for knockoff here because I predicted a switch. And I got Passimion, which was Choice Band. You know Choice Band is guaranteed close combat and knockoff, you can see it here from the extension. And usually it has U-turn, so I was expecting those. I switch out into hands because I'm scared of CC, they go for knockoff, it's fine. U-turn, and I clicked Drain Punch, which was not great against Inamorous. Now, this is fine for me because Inamorous can't KO me in one or it had a very low chance to do so. So if they click Moonblast and they click Wild Charge, we both go down and it's very good for me. I don't care if I go down, if I take Enamorous with me. So I just did that, very cool for me. Now back into Passimian, Bravery, I predicted Passimian. I don't think I predicted Pyroar. I think Passimian made more sense because of U-Turn. So I just went into Bravery and plus I, I was like, hmm, they're not revealing another Mon. They might go Passimian, so you have free Brave Bird. They reveal Avalag. Oh, another thing uh, you might, you have to know is that my opponents are not super experienced in Rambats. They are good players for sure, but they are not super experienced in Rambats, so they might not know the sets or how Rambats is usually played, so I was very confident going into this tournament that I was I was very confident I was able to win most of the games. So that's that. That's I'm saying that because staying in with Avalog against Bravery is kinda strange when close combat is guaranteed. And here Roost, you lose the flying type, so Avalanche does nothing. Here I was scared of Pyroar to come in. So I just click close combat instead of roosting again, which was a fine play in my opinion. Now they go Pyroar, and I don't really care, I go back into Greedent. It does a little bit, and then... Oh, another funny thing is that it has a nerve, so I can't hit my berry. That's actually one of the first time a nerve comes in clutch in Rambats. Double edge just for chip. Yeah, I just sacked it. Uh, Lycan Rock. Um, they predicted uh, Axel Rock. I just went for CC. Lycan Rock is lower, so I risked uh, Will O Wisp, but I knew Passimian was coming in, so it was fine. Now they're going to Slacking, and this could be Scarf. It is, if it's Scarf, it can KO me. I have a Drift Blim in the back, and I'm fairly sure. They are not clicking knockoff, but I'm so scared of knockoff. So I just stayed in and just went for damage, even though if I didn't feel confident in my team, Drift Blim was the play here. I just went for damage. I went before, so we know this is banded now. Okay, double edge. I don't care, we have free Drift Blim. Uh, this is the Unburdened set. Is set with uh, citrus and so pyroar doesn't let me eat my berry which i didn't realize at first i realized it a little bit later uh, not here here i was still unaware of the fact that they had a nerve i was like why is my berry not activating and here i realized strength set was maybe not the best play but it was fine because now i ko easy and now my berry activates, now I have a burden. Uh, funny thing is that 
they didn't know about uh, Citrus and a burden, and some of their teammates were ghosting. Ghosting is allowed in tour. Were ghosting him or, or and trying to reach out to him, but he wasn't listening. I think. Um, they were like, "No, don't don't activate Unburden, You're gonna lose." And I think he didn't get the message. <laughs> so here, I know Lithion is always Terra Dark or Terra Normal. So I'm always clicking Air Slash. I'm not dumb. I'm not risking anything. And here, game over. Even if I miss Air Slash and Slacking KOs me, I it has true hunt. I have very very. I always win this. So game one, easy. I didn't play super well, but it was fine. Game 2. Electivire, they have a bomb as no. I can have Flamethrower. I would never risk this. If I click Flamethrower, they go down. I wasn't... I wasn't... I wasn't uh, Flamethrower. I was Bulk Up, EQ, Ice Punch, Super Soul Slam, Life Orb. But they stayed in, I was so mad. I was so mad, this makes no sense to me. Going to Lomomola because I'm predicting EQ. They have it. It's not guaranteed to have wood hammer, but I I thought it had it. I just wanted to burn it with scald. Lomomola beats a Bob's no 1v1, even if they have wood hammer. Chansey, very annoying. I'm scared of T-Wave. That's why I'm going Electivire every time. They have rocks, which is very bad. Right period. And it's not always weakness policy, but you're always scared of weakness policy, so here I have to switch out. Back into Lomomola. And from this damage, you see it's not banded, so now you know it's either Assault Vest or weakness policy. So we don't know. EQ again. I have to wish and protect every time, because otherwise uh, it's not great. I'm Rocky Helmet on Lomomola, and Leaves here is banded, I believe. Yeah, it is banded. They tried to flinch me, but they went down. This is huge for me. Okay, Entei, which is lower than me. This means E speed. I just switch out. Lomomola is kinda free. Nice plane, going into Chansey. Wish is okay. They get Rocky Helmet Chip, Flip Turn is free. And I went into Electivire predicting T Wave. Predicted that, that's fine. I can't KO it here. I bulked up. Okay, and in this situation, I I discussed with my teammates, and I was like, yeah, I'm clicking Terra Ground and I'm clicking EQ. I don't care if it's, uh, if it's uh, weakness policy. I survive with. Thanks to my Terra Ground, and they do a lot of damage, I do it KO it. So, Electivire, after it KOs this, it destroys their team. Maybe Entei with E speed was annoying, but I don't know. And I forgot to click my Terra, so here I look a little bit stupid. And yeah. I went to Lomomola to revenge kill. Easy. Obama Snow again. It's cold every time. I can spoil you, I never got a Scold burn in this match and I clicked Scold so many times. Uh, I was very afraid of T-Wave with On Alomomola, that's why I went into Dialga. This was a very strange part of the game for me because I didn't know how to break Chansey without getting paralyzed on my two months here. So I just tried to deal some damage, but like I didn't do much. I'm skipping some turns because they're not that important. See, Swana is not a problem for my team, the problem is just Chansey basically. It is called? Yeah. No burn. I tried to get the burn, I never got it. Protect just to stall out some uh, Aurora Veil turns. Flip turn because I'm scared, and I basically let Dialga go down for zero reason. Okay, Soulsbuck. Soulsbuck has Headbutt, which can flinch Chansey. I'm slower than Zwana though, so I have to switch out, I have to go a little more every time. They Brave Bird, they do nothing, I wish every time. 
I clicked wish uh, here. Yes. That does nothing. And now I have scold which never burns. Never. And here. No. In the end, basically, Ababa Snow didn't have Wood Hammer, which was very funny. Uh, because I didn't need the burn for the entire game. Other very interesting thing is that now, since I'm paralyzed, I get slow flip turns. I'm slower than Chansey, so if I wish, then a flip turn, I can heal Iron Leaves, which is huge for me. My last one is Shell Smash Blastoise, which is also very good. Uh, but it struggles against Chansey anyways, so not great. Vera, which is annoying. I wish. No, flip turn. Oh, I think I went into Sauceback and I was like, yeah, I'm flinching this, I don't care. It's, it's 60%. And I got it. I tear out just to uh, survive, I believe, Blizzard. I'm not sure about that. Or just to tweet KO, one of the two. Here, I kind of forgot I was not a grass type anymore, but it's fine. Sauceback did its, its job. Blastoise. It wasn't that good since Chansey was at full, but it's fine. It has a low chance of tweet KOing Chansey, I believe it was 25% with EQ. But I got a low roll here, or I didn't get the roll that I needed, so... I don't know why they switched out. I think they didn't have the calculator. I know I survive Ice Shard here. Yeah, I survive it, and it goes down. Now, Entei, E Speed, I don't care. Now I go a Lomomola, and I force a switch here basically. Wish every time, and low flip turn. Now I heal Iron Leaves. They don't have a Terra type that can help them. They went into Entei. This is game over. Psyblade. They can Terra normal E speed, but it doesn't KO me. I don't know why I switched out here. I have no idea. I tried to give them, like, a possibility here. I didn't want to do that. I don't know what I was thinking here. I just had to stay in. Like,. I still won, flip turn KO's there and Iron Leaves wins, so it's fine. I messed up in the end a little bit, but it was fine game for me. 